at least makes the exercise a little bit more interesting. Goes A major, C major, E major, C sharp major, G major, B major, and F sharp major. All right, now let me show you the pattern that we're doing throughout the chord or arpeggio. We're starting on the root, we're skipping a string, and going to the next note in the arpeggio. Then you're going to the second note of the arpeggio, in this case which is E, skipping a string again. Then to the third note of the arpeggio, the fourth, So we have Remember to pick down up down up down up down up To descend you start on the added third which is C sharp on the E string and skip down to the G string then up to the B and skip down to the D. Up to the G, skip to the A. Up to the D string and skip to the E. Remember once again to keep your right hand picking consistent. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't let that falter at all. So here's what it sounds like when you combine the two. And then from there, just go through the sequence of chords that I outlined earlier, and you have the entire exercise. Okay, now that you know the initial exercise, all the variations involve the right hand and we're going to concentrate on our picking. First of all, instead of starting with a down stroke and using down, up, down, up, down, up, do the same exercise starting on an up stroke and consistently playing up, down, up, down, up, down throughout the entire exercise. That's going to look like this. It might be a little bit more difficult at first, but the reason we're doing this is so in any situation you'll be able to pick. You're not always going to have the comfort of starting on your favorite stroke, whether it's down or up. You should be able to sort of get through anything that comes your way. Now the other variations involve playing more than one time on each note. We're going to start with playing twice on each note then three times on each note, and then finally four times on each note. Not only that, but starting each sequence with a down and then with an up. So let me demonstrate through the one chord what these will look like on your right hand. We'll start with the doubles, starting on a down. Then double starting with an up. Then three times, starting with a down. Three times, starting with an up. Four times, starting with down. And finally, four times starting with an up stroke. All right, what you're going to do is play each one of those variations through the entire 
chord sequence. Just remember to keep the notes very even and also to keep that consistent alternate picking, especially when you're playing triplets, going from one string to the next because there's an odd amount of notes per string. Really, really watch that you are keeping a consistent down, up, down, up. Now let me demonstrate what it would sound like playing two notes per string through the entire sequence, just so you can have an example. I basically have technique broken down into four categories. One is scalar or linear examples, two is arpeggiated examples, three is left hand or legato playing, and four is sweet picking. And what I do is I have files in a file cabinet and I collect information from videos and books and lessons and whatever and I file them according to topic. If it's an arpeggio thing that I learn from a magazine, I rip it out and stick it into the arpeggio section. And then when it comes time to practice, instead of saying, oh, there's millions of things, how am I going to practice all this stuff? Basically, I make a master list of what's in all those files. And that list changes from day to day. You constantly add to it. And you sit down and you basically customize a practice session. So let's say you have about two hours to practice. I personally have four categories, so I'd pick one item from each one of those categories and practice that item for a half hour. Move on to the next, practice that for a half hour. And then by the time I'm done, after two hours, I've covered the entire topic of technique. Okay, now that we concentrated on the left hand and the right hand individually, let me show you a few exercises that are equally effective for both hands. Okay, this exercise starts with your first finger on the low E string on the first fret in the first position skips over the A string, goes with your second finger on the D string on the note E, and then your third finger on the G string on the note B flat, and your fourth finger on the high E string on the note A flat, and your right hand is picking once again down, up, down, up. Now the next step is to simply flip your hand sort of like a mirror image. So your first finger is now on the high E and your fourth finger is on the low E and start from the high E and go down to low E with the picking, down, up, down, up. And combine the two. What I did after that is I ascended chromatically and you should take this all the way up to the 12th fret and then descend using a similar but slightly different pattern. Here's how it goes. Mm -hmm. 